Hi everyone, this is Chakrit. Uh, what I have for you today is an analog synthesizer in Minecraft. Uh, if you don't know, an analog synthesizer is basically an electronic keyboard that produces a tone, um, I wouldn't want to say digitally, but electronically, so it's all, it's all done in a computer inside the instrument. And um, on an analog synth, you press the keys and it'll produce a sound. So there's that. It works like a normal keyboard. It's a little bit has a little bit of delay to it, but that's just because it's trying to process it. Um, and uh, on an analog synth, there are usually a couple oscillators. Um, I own a Moog Prodigy. This is what I'm basing most of the ideas off of. And my Moog Prodigy has two different oscillators, so two different sound-producing uh, octaves, I would say. So, um, we've got two different rows of note blocks, and those are triggered uh, when you press a key by this red coder. And we can change the uh, tonality of one of the oscillators uh, by moving these wood blocks underneath the note blocks. So, I'll do that. There's the one for this one. So, now this one's going to play the same note, but it's going to play a... Uh, it's going to play a, a woodblock sound in, instead of a uh, open air sound. And we can do that for both oscillators. I have that set up on both sides. And um, the other thing that we can do is we can tune it up or down. So that, uh, what you were just hearing, was it tuned up a perfect fifth from its, from its normal tone. So that's the highest note right there. So, uh, what we can do, we can tune it up any of these, uh, any of these intervals here. Perfect fourth. Let's tune it up just to a perfect fourth. So, there's that. It tunes the whole keyboard. Everything is transposed up uh, this many half steps, this many keys. So, we're tuning it at one, two, three, four, five keys. So, just for an example here. Let's choose this one, this E. Sounds like that. And now if we tune it up, well, you listen to that E, and then we listen to this high note. Now we tune it up five keys. The E now sounds like the former highest note. Oh, I counted wrong. I counted wrong, but yeah, you, you get the idea. And um, so that's that. What I would have liked to have done with this is have um, one tuner for one oscillator and another tuner for another, but um, there was some delay involved between the two. So, I mean, I could get it to play, but they, it, would be, it would be like a da-da, it would have like a space between, it wouldn't play in unison. Um, but other than that, I'm really happy with it. Uh, here's a little peek of the redstone. Um, basic idea, we've got one line of redstone underneath all the keys, and so those will provide a signal strength. That comes in right here, and it gets sent to this uh, little checkerboard type array. And all this does, it, makes, it basically makes the same signal strength uh, get propagated through every one of these comparators on this line. And on this line, these are just mirrored around this, this central axis there. And the reason for that is because we need to tune it. If we want to add the tuning mechanism, this is the row. Uh, one of these blocks will be extended only one at a time. And depending on which one, that'll be how high it gets tuned. So right now it's at its natural state. There's no, it's not tuned up at all. So if we tune it up a bit, we can see that this block uh, has moved. It's like, now this one is extended. And you'll also notice that these note blocks are now blocked off from producing any sound. Um, that's because when you get a signal strength onto a red coder, because I'm going to be 
propagating that signal strength in the middle of it instead of at the end, um, it would basically be a mirror. So if I had like a signal strength of 3 coming in, it would go 3, 2, 1, so this note would play, but it would also go 3, 2, 1, so this note would play, and it would play two different notes at the same time, and we, on we don't want that. We only want one note, and we only want the higher ones. So uh, we'll block all the ones off that are unnecessary. And um, the only reason that we can't tune this any higher, like I would have liked to tune by a whole octave, from because this only goes up to a minor seventh, I would have liked to go to a major seventh, and then to the the octave. Um, but that's a limit in Minecraft in that we only have so many notes that a notebook can play. So, like from this low F sharp to this high F sharp, I believe it's another high F sharp or close there. Um, that's every possible tone every possible note that can be played with a note block and it can tune all the way through all of those. So the highest it can actually go would be here. And um, that's basically just mirrored onto the other side and um, that's about it. Um, and I had, I did, like I said, I did have this array for the other oscillator so that I could tune them both independently but and get kind of a like a, like a fat fifth sound or something like that so that it was they were harmonizing with each other but there was a delay involved and that came in right in this mechanism is that every note that you want to tune up every half step you want to tune up there's an additional delay because there's comparators underneath these blocks here. So there's an additional delay there and that adds up really quickly, especially over an interval like a perfect fifth because then that would be all the way, like instead of, because one side would be right here and the other side would be all the way up here. So there's an additional uh, like fraction of a second delay that was just making it sound ugly. Um, but other than that, that's about it. If you have any suggestions, uh, like how to remove the delay, how to propagate the same signal strength along this line, or um, anything like that, or if you have any ideas for something you'd like me to build, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comment section. And other than that, thanks for watching.